So generally today you guys would be getting a gameplay that I had ripped from my live stream and obviously using the green screen and you know whether it be me raging and or celebrating because I did awesome whatever it was that's what would be going up on my channel today but right now you're just seeing absolute black and maybe hearing a little rain in the background because it is raining outside right now that's not something I added after the fact but you know you've caught my intro and now you see this and if you make it to the end of the video you're gonna catch my outro but I kind of want to talk to you guys about YouTube today, and obviously there's no Call of Duty gameplay in the background, because I just kind of want you guys to listen and think about this. Whereas usually the gameplay can be distracting from the commentary topic. So, if you've already left because there's no Call of Duty in the background, I would apologize, but you're already gone, so I can sit here and say fuck you and you won't know about it. <laughs> but realistically, like, I want to talk to you guys about YouTube, and, you know, likes and comments and whatever it may be, and why people fake like a video and before like you jump to conclusions I, I want to specify you know somebody liking a video and they never even watched it you know sometimes people like a video just because they're friends with them and that's fine I mean you want to support the person that you are friends with but when somebody likes a video and you never even watched it you didn't make it past the intro and you just like it to like it are these people always you know expecting a reciprocated like on their channel or are they just doing it because they think they're doing you you a favor? I'm just curious what motivates these people. I mean, I understand that there are some people when you when you see 50 likes on their Twitter feed in the past five seconds that you know maybe they're at work and they watched some of these videos and shouldn't be, and they can't log in because of the servers at work won't allow them or whatever the reason may be. So when they get home, they like you know an abundant amount of videos. That I do understand. I mean, there are certain situations that would call for mass likes to catch up because you weren't allowed to like elsewhere. But then you get these other people that the only moment they get on Twitter, they go and spam a bunch of likes. And then I guess they're not even technically on Twitter because it's linked through YouTube. But they get on YouTube, they go through their sub box and just click like on every new video in every from every creator that there was that they're sub to. And I'm just curious what what motivates a person to do this. I mean, honestly, do they think that they're doing you a favor, or are they just, you know, expecting that like back? I, I, I don't understand why you do this. I'd rather lose 50 views a video than get, you know, those 50 fake likes, or whatever it may be. Like, I'm making content, and I continue to make content that gets, you know, more likes than my other stuff that I've made, or more views than other stuff that i made. And if you're causing these fake stats, basically... Not only just for YouTube, but for me. Like, I'm, I'll am i make a video because, you know, everybody's talking about how great it was or it had so many more likes than one of my other videos. So I'll stop doing something that could have been, you know, really, really good because it didn't get any views because broken sub boxes or whatever it may be. But something else gets just gobs and gobs of likes. But nobody really liked it because they were just, like, spam liking and they never even watched the video. So I'm, I'm kind of curious what motivates a person to do that. If you guys have any, you know, thoughts as to what that may be. Or maybe maybe you are that person. If you're that person, please, for, fuck, for fuck's sake, and you made it, you've actually made it this far into a video, hop down in the comments. Let me know why you do that. Why, why, why would you do something like that? Not only does it screw with YouTube, but it, it screws with the content creator, and, th and then they can end up making content that nobody ever really liked in the first place because, you know, 20, 30 people, or on a bigger scale, you know, 1,000 to 5,000 people fake liked a video that they didn't even watch. And I was actually talking to this, you know, with my buddy earlier, and you can see it on bigger channels where a video literally just went live five seconds ago, and there's somebody that says, Wow, great video, man, and it's a five minute video. And it's a f only been live for five seconds. You didn't watch that fucking video. You didn't make it past the intro and you're talking about how great it is. You know, you know. But on a smaller scale, I, I want to know why. Obviously that person's brown nosing or whatever it may be. But on a smaller scale, w what are they getting out of it? Or do they think that they're helping you out? Hop down in the comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Um, I can see myself doing more of these. We'll call it... No tags, no title vlogs, something like that. We'll, we'll go with that because you're gonna get a black screen, and I'm, I'm probably not even gonna make thumbnails for this. I'm just gonna, I'm literally gonna, well, I'm gonna, I'll make a thumbnail, but I'm just gonna have, you know, 
the 1280 by 720 black screen just to confuse some motherfuckers and maybe they'll watch it. <laughs> I'll get some free get some free views, maybe some likes out of it. <laughs> Realistically, please let me know down in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on this, why why people do that. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that sus subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And until next time, guys, game on.